Hello, namaste friends. Welcome to Yoga with Mili Elcheri. Today I've got for you a tutorial how to headstand. Let's go upside down. So first of all, before you practice any inversions, make sure to warm up your core. I will leave you a link in the comments below with a great video how to fire up your core. So inversions require two things. First of all, letting go of fear, letting go of any expectation, just be open-minded and practice and whatever it comes with your practice, this is where you're supposed to be. So take it easy, slow, enjoy the journey. Second thing is required a really strong core. So as I mentioned, I will leave you a link in the comments below with a great video to strengthen your core muscles. And now let's have fun. I'll show you two different variations for a headstand. One gonna be a supported headstand and the second gonna be a tripod headstand. So everyone is different. For some of you, my the first version gonna be a little bit easier. For some of you, the second one. Make sure to try both of them, see which one you like more. Share with me your comments in the section below and let's have fun. So variation number one, a supportive headstand. I recommend it to you to place a mat close to a wall because we're gonna use today a wall to let go of that fear. I'm gonna use this beautiful tree as my wall today. So supportive headstand, come to a seated position. Place your elbows all the way down to the earth and go ahead and grab the opposite triceps. So we're gonna measure the distance. Then open up your forearms into a triangle and lace your fingertips. So when you're lacing your fingertips, make sure not to clamp your head too much hard. So keep it nice and loose. So we created a nice basket so you can place you, the crown of your head in between your palms. So this is step one. Step two is we're gonna come into a kneeling position and begin to place the crown of your head all the way down in between your palms and supporting your head. Step number three, tuck your toes under, lift your seat bones high and up, kind of downward facing dog, but all the way standing on your head. So if that feels already too much for you, you feel some pain on your neck, so this is gonna be the step where you just gonna embrace and practice for this moment and this is already can be enough and i promise you get all the benefits of the inversions already right here if you feel that you ready to go a little bit further so let's move a little bit further again grab the opposite biceps open up the arms to a triangle lace the fingertips place the crown of your head in between the palms tuck your toes under and lift your seat bones high and up now here I want you to begin to pull your belly in and up, really magnetizing your navel into your lower back, engaging your core muscles and begin to walk your toes as close as close as you can towards your face. So here we want to bring our seat bones over the shoulders. So we want to stack the hips over the shoulders and create that straight energy line from your seat bones all the way to the crown of your head. If that feels enough, again, stay here and keep working on strengthening the muscles in your neck. If you feel you want to go a little bit deeper, try to hug one knee into your chest and keep lifting the seat bones a little bit higher. Then lower the foot and switch. Hug the other knee into your chest and switch and play with that. So see if you can use your core and really float your toes here using your core strength to elevate your feet. And then release. Take a child's pose for a few breaths, place the crown, I'm sorry, the forehead to rest on your mat, take a few deep breaths, a lot of fresh blood into your brain, into your nervous system, which is really, really amazing, a lot of benefits of that, and I will share with you all the benefits in the comments below. So this is option one. Option two, we will begin to use our wall and see if we can kick the legs all the way up. So I'm gonna turn and then you're gonna have a nice view of my booty. And then the same 
place the crown of your head come behind your toes begin to walk your toes as close as close as close as you can so your seat bones right over your shoulders and then see if you can lift one leg and then slightly kick and bring the foot all the way to the wall and then using your core muscles here to lift the other like so right here if you can come closer a little bit to the wall do so so the tree is not the best option but and then see if you can bring one leg up squeeze your butt squeeze the inner thighs pushing the earth away with your forearms so you have less stress on your neck and then see if you can bring the other leg up whoa, down and then if you're falling that's perfect falling it's part of your practice it's part of your learning so embrace the falling and get up with a smile and try again so let's try it again create a basket with your palms place the crown of your head lift the heels begin to walk your toes towards your face and then slightly kick one leg and then the other one to the wall and then see if you can bring the legs away from the wall squeeze your bum squeeze the inner thighs squeeze your legs point your toes and really engage everything don't forget to breathe the breathing is really really important the moment that you forget to breathe you're probably gonna lose your balance try to smile now you can point your toes you can point whatever feels good for you and then when you're losing the balance just trust and then place your feet back to the wall. I cannot find the tree. Where is the tree? There is the tree. Waha. And then when you're ready, come down. See if you can squeeze one knee to your chest. Then the other knee to your chest. Maybe hold for a second. And then slowly really sit down. When you're done, take a child's pose. A few deep breaths. And then get up. Shake the arms. Shake your palms and now let's try the second variation which is a tripod headstand for the tripod headstand i want you to place your arms shoulders width and then spread your fingertips super wide like a starfish because here you're going to bring a lot of weight into your wrist and when you're spreading your fingertips really really wide so you kind of protecting your wrist from the injuries so basically the same thing you're gonna place your arm shoulders width and then when you have it place the crown of your head in between the palms tuck your toes under and lift your seat bones high to the sky now i want you here to squeeze the elbows toward each other come behind your toes begin to walk your toes towards your face as close as you can so the seat bones right over your shoulders then lift one knee open up to the side and see if you can place the knee on your tricep and then release and then try the other one and maybe here you can hold and see if you can bring the other one rest both of your knees on the triceps big toes to touch kind of a crow pose right and then from here i want you to work on squeezing the knees into your chest and then open up squeezing in and open up in and open up so here basically you're working to uh, to use your core and then you can really feel how core muscles working for you when you can squeeze both of your knees into your chest and hold there for a few moments it's going to be so easy for you to lift those knees up and come to a vertical line so let's try this again place the arms shoulders width place the crown of your head tuck your toes begin to walk your toes close into your face when you have it one knee on the tricep the other knee big toes to touch and then see if you can squeeze both of your knees into your chest and here begin to elevate the knees and then extend the legs all the way up squeeze your butt squeeze the inner thighs point your toes reach 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 up don't forget to breathe and to smile when it's enough see if you can hug the knees back into your chest open up to your triceps and then slowly release and of course child's pose to catch up with your breath
and then you can do just exactly the same by the wall if you're still working on squeezing the knees into your chest and then elevate and you feel that you're losing the balance you have your best friend the wall don't practice too much by the wall because then you're creating some memory in your mind that you have something to trust on and then when you're practicing out of the wall you have this fear coming up so trust yourself practice more and i promise you everything gonna come with the practice so play safe and i will see you soon namaste